Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome to our New York City apartment. This is a two bed, one bath price at 3350 located in Brooklyn, New York. I split the rent with my boyfriend, so we're paying $16.75 each. So this apartment building is quite old and we're living in a railroad style apartment. And basically our bedrooms are on both ends and we have the living room, dining room, and kitchen right in the middle. This is actually quite nice because right now in the summer, we can open both windows on both bedrooms and we can create a little draft. So it keeps our apartment quite cool. Not to mention we're also on the top floor. So yeah, we get a lot of light, but also heat rises. So it does get pretty hot, so it's important for us to get as much circulation as possible. And believe it or not, we've only been living here for a little over a month. So much has happened though, but we're really grateful that we basically finished our apartment. I wouldn't say it's 100% complete. I feel like nothing really is 100% complete. I would say right now it's at 93%. But yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys everything. So let's start with our living room. Let's go. <music> This right here is our living room and dining room over there. It's a little bit dark right now just because it's 5 p.m. and this area in our apartment is just dark in general. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but we have a little bit of a theme going on. It's very modern, vintage, Parisian. I love this couch right here. We got this from Facebook Marketplace. It's the perfect faux leather couch and it's actually super, super comfortable. And this table right here, I will link it down below. I got this from Amazon. So the perks of having a railroad apartment is that everything is narrow. So we literally had no space to get like a big coffee table so we opted out for this and honestly i love this purchase it's literally the perfect size and it just so happened to match our couch we also added a blanket here to add some comfiness and then we have a picture frame right here just above our couch and guess how much this was you guys this picture frame was literally only five dollars thanks to that guy who was selling this on the side of the street because this painting is absolutely beautiful and i love nature so like this just ties everything that i love and to the left side of our couch we just have this little area here with our coffee table and like a lamp we actually got this lamp with the picture frame and could you guess how much this vintage lamp is so this lamp we got for 15 dollars and that is beyond cheap it's vintage and very high quality not to mention it's also super super heavy i think this just ties the area so well just because the colors match and even our flowers right there also match and you guys don't sleep on ikea vase this is from ikea and we just put this beautiful orange flowers and a little candle right here and this completes this area across the couch is our beautiful tv console area and to say that i'm obsessed with this dresser is an understatement because i i can't even explain it i am in love with this dresser the details the color, the gold accent, the wood on top is just perfect. If you guys aren't shopping on Facebook Marketplace yet, I highly recommend or just secondhand shopping in general because you find so much cute stuff and that dresser was only $350. But anyway, in this area, we just have this vase that we thrifted with some eucalyptus, our Roku TV. I also added this little mirror here just to tie in with the gold accent. So we actually use this dresser for our clothes. And the main reason is we actually don't have a closet in our bedroom. So we just had to find a way to kind of have a console while also making it functional and we also have this rug from amazon and honestly we're quite disappointed with it like it's not the best quality but the colors is absolutely beautiful it matches with everything else in the living room so right next to our tv we have this little record player area um, my boyfriend got this little record stand and it's so freaking cute we still have yet to fill it up with records but right now it's looking like this and it's just so cute i almost forgot about this mirror right here but this mirror is so clutch just because it fits so well right here i'm not sure if you guys could tell but this is actually a window, but we have an apartment building that blocks the lights. So it's just like a dark window. And so we were trying to find ways to make it look cute. And this mirror literally fits it. So we just put it right there and it fits so perfectly. Like when you look at it from afar, it just looks like it belongs there. This is one of our favorite solves. So moving on to the dining room area. So I got this table from Wayfair. I will also link it down below. But the chairs around here, we actually all thrifted and we intentionally wanted it to be different from each other just because we would like that look i got this marble lazy susan from target and i think it's so cute and we just put this vase right here and this is actually from ikea it's supposed to be like you know like a water pour water pour is crazy it's a pitcher babes <laughs> but we used it as a vase and we added some flowers just to top it all off and we also have this cute little bar area right here my boyfriend found this at big reuse here in brooklyn the details are really really cute and right now we use it to store our like crystal glasses our shot glasses and same thing for this gothic china cabinet right here my boyfriend also found it she's an icon she's a beauty the same window had the same problem with that window but we didn't want another like mirror so 
we put like a tapestry there and you know it does the job and it looks cute so she's staying there because this area is so dark we definitely wanted some greenery here so we have this plant right here that we got from a friend thank you joey and derek for gifting us this it's so cute doesn't require a lot of light so it's literally perfect in this corner and then we just have this little picture frame here it kind of matches with the china cabinet i wanted to show you guys how it looks like when it's dark so i closed the doors and this is what it looks like it's actually quite moody in here so just to the left of our living room, you get to see the master bedroom and this is the biggest room in our apartment. And quite frankly, my favorite room. So starting on this side, we have this beautiful French armoire right here and it just fits so perfectly. We had to get this because we didn't have a closet in our bedroom and it's actually quite nice that we didn't because we get to have this. I would rather have this than a built-in closet any day. And surprisingly, this fits a lot of stuff, you guys. So just across the closet, we have my boyfriend's side of the bed. He has his dresser. We have this little chair here and then this mirror here. I think got this from Amazon. This one is from the sidewalk so it's free and this mirror I got from Facebook Marketplace. We feel like this is still not complete. We feel like we need something here, a plant. I love this lamp right here. This one is from Ikea and I actually got this flowers today for him and I just kind of put that on the side and it's so cute. In the next two or three days this will like fully bloom and it's gonna look so beautiful. And this is our fireplace and this is actually a non-functioning fireplace but my boyfriend saw this at a thrift shop and still bought it and it's actually so so cute. So our our place isn't as decorated to the way we want it to be, but for now, this is what works. I love the mirror. My boyfriend got it as well. This vase right here is absolutely beautiful. We got it from a thrift store as well. And then we just added like some dried lavender plants. And I think this candle my boyfriend got from a thrift store. So we're able to fit a queen bed in this bedroom. And this is from Nectar, the mattress, and everything else literally is from Brooke Linen. And we just love this brand. I love this linen. It's not itchy. It's super soft. This gold picture frame right here, we got a big reuse. It was only $15. I'm telling you guys, if you live in New York or if you live in Brooklyn, go to big reuse. It looks a little janky there, but honestly, you find the cutest thing. Moving on to my desk. This is my little workspace. This is literally where all the magic happens. This is where I edit. This is where I film for the most part. This plant we got from like Ace Hardware and then my book. This statue was actually from TJ Maxx. And that I've had this plant for such a long time. I don't know where I got it from, but way back in California. And this right here is my desk. Like I said, I'm gonna link everything down below, but I got this desk from Amazon. And this picture frame I thrifted and I just kind of put it in like that order, kind of messy gallery wall. I have this little Ikea plant here with some crystals, my LED lamp here. And I got this laptop stand also from Amazon. And this desk chair is actually from my boyfriend. He just kind of gave it to me. And now it's my little desk chair. I like working here because I get the view of the far exit and like the clouds just so pretty all the time and the trees it just makes working a lot more productive for me when i have this view so in our apartment we have a lot of like statues and this is one of them it's kind of creepy sometimes because he's literally looking at us while we sleep but anyway he's so beautiful so he's gonna stay up there now this right here is my favorite corner of our master bedroom this is our little reading nook and it's absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna start it off with this plant right here we've had this one for so long and we got this picture frame right here from a place called yesterday's news in brooklyn the focal point of this reading nook is this chair right here we got this at big reuse the one that i told you guys about at big reuse you can find stuff like this so cute so vintage you literally couldn't find this in like ikea or target i remember when i saw this and i was just like we have to get it i love the color i love the wood i love this detail right here and i think it was only 35 dollars, which was such a steal because this is so so cute and then we have the actual table here i got this little mat here from target the table is from amazon it's so cute look at that it's so cute and so vintage we'll link this down below and then the rug is also from amazon as well so this is our bathroom right here with no light. It's just a pure white bathroom. So originally this mirror wasn't here. We had to exchange the one that was originally here because we thought it was ugly. And so then we went to Ikea and got this mirror. It's so cute and also functional because it has this little bench right here. And we had to do that because our bathroom sink is so small. You can't really fit this size of a brush holder, but at least we have storage right here under this sink. And the shower curtain is so cute. It's from Target and I think it's 100% cotton. It's so nice, it's washable. Right next to it is a towel holder. And we kind of want to put like a picture frame here. I just feel like it's so blank. So we're trying to look for a black picture frame that would look cute. And we also have the storage cabinet here that we store our toiletries and towels. The bathtub is also pretty nice and big and we're trying to find like a little like caddy here. But for now, that is it for the bathroom. And I bet you're wondering, Jeremy, where was the toilet? Well, so this apartment is European style. So the bathroom or the toilet is actually in a separate room. So shower and sink there 
toilet right here. You guys, this toilet already had this like colored wall here and we first hated it, but then we were like, wait, let's work with it and add some gallery wall. And this is where the toilet is at. We're trying to do a DIY here soon. Like we kind of want to change the tile to the kitchen tile. We're still debating on that, but currently that's what our toilet looks like. Nothing special, moving on. Moving on to the kitchen, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it definitely is mine. I just love older buildings. I love older like kitchen finishes. I just think it adds so much character and I feel like I'm just an old soul when it comes to that stuff. So this is the sink area. We don't have a dishwasher, so we have to have this little wooden like drying rack. I added this hook here with some yellow like towel, mitten, and I wanted to make sure I added some plant just to make this area more lively. And I also decided to add this little um, curtain here just because I think it looks more like lived in and comfy. I got these curtains from Amazon Amazon, I will leave it down below. And then I have this rug right here from Ikea. And my boyfriend actually added the light here and it's motion sensor, so it's clutch. So I actually DIY this floor right here. It's a stick on tile from Amazon and it's the easiest thing ever. And it's also renter friendly. I highly recommend you do it. And of course I will link it down below. Our kitchen also has the brick wall, which is super nice. It just makes this area look a lot cuter. Oh, and you guys, my boyfriend like changed the knobs to these like cute ones. He also got it from Amazon, I think. I will link it down below, but I think it just adds so much more character. And this is what it looks like with with the light on at nighttime it looks so cozy these two tiles i thrifted from california and then this rabbit right here just so cute i think her name is petunia i totally forgot but my boyfriend got it and we just hang on her Welcome to the spare bedroom, AKA the room with the brick wall. Honestly, we're kind of jealous that we don't have the brick wall in our master bedroom, but nonetheless, it's fine. I'm just gonna cry just a little bit. Well, let's take a look at the spare bedroom. So the spare bedroom is a lot smaller than our master bedroom, but it does fit a full bed. And we put this frame above it just because we feel like it matches the brick wall. And we actually got this at the same time with the picture frame from the living room. It was also $5, which is crazy. And then my boyfriend got this bookshelf also from Big Reuse, and he just puts all of his like stuff here. I really love the plants, the positioning of like the books, and I just like how it's all decorated. And then we put this picture frame here because it matches with the green. This fiddle leaf, you guys, has been thriving. Like it's been growing so much new leaves. And in our spare bedroom, we decided to have my boyfriend's office space here. I think my favorite one here is this lamp right here that he got. It's so cute. It's the bank teller lamp. It's honestly the cutest thing. Like, ah, uh, beautiful. And then it just has this plant right here. And as you can see, we have a lot of plants in this room just to add more greenery to the space. We have these curtains here from Ikea and I think it just drapes so nicely. And then we have this mirror here also from Ikea and a little pride flag because we are gay. And we're back. You guys, I feel like I talked for like five hours. <laughs> I also look beyond oily right now. It's a combination of sweat sunscreen and moisturizer <laughs> but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that new york city apartment tour i hope you guys found that inspiring and hopefully you get to see a little glimpse of what it's like to live in new york city especially in an older building but let me know if you guys have any questions of where i got everything from i might have missed something um what else thank you for watching like this video subscribe if you're new see you guys in my next video bye